Getting back to his intercepting best. Martin again. And that's beautifully delivered into the front 50. Doesn't have a goal so far this season, but has one in his four-game career. And he makes no mistake, that's the start. He and Phillips sharing the ruck duties. Parrish dumps it deep. Right again in front this time. And causing but some headaches. Tore it up early against Brisbane here a couple of weeks ago. And of course, had a seven-goal game against the Bulldogs at this venue. So he knows what he's doing. Peter Wright, second goal for the Bombers. Wider for Murphy. And the handoff to Dawson. The two that combined last week to get them the win. Walker, one, two. Not paid, doesn't matter. Taylor Walker kicks his first. Laverde did enough. Now Redmond can go to work. Guelph, he was a target he couldn't miss. Got short to Martin if he, or Perkins if he wanted it. A little greedier than that, and fair enough. Waterman takes the mark. Crows have kicked the last two after the Bombers jumped out of the blocks. It's shaping. It's shaping. Perfectly. And suddenly there's space for Jimmy Rowe through the middle. Cutting was Murphy. Sloan's running this side again. He goes for Rochelle. A test on the ground for Zerk Thatcher. It hits there. Rochelle got it where he wanted to. And gives the Crows third goal. Continuing the trend of entertaining footy so far this season. Dawson. That was a little scrappy. Martin. Lovely turn to glide through and off the left boot. He knew exactly where to put it. Great tackle from Sloan, but he was just sitting there for a little while. Martin again involved. Durham had to wait. Saw off Jones, got back to his feet. Quick smart. Shield should be a score at the very least here for the Bombers. It looks good off the boot. He's put it through. 13 point margin. O'Brien's came at the right moment, gave it off to Sloan and then to Crouch. Scholl had to wear a bump, but didn't he bounce back? <laughs> what a fine goal from Scholl. <laughs> it ends with Himmelberger, who had a plethora of options. Jimmy Rowe, never short of going to win the football, feeds it back to Laird, and he's got a man all on his own in the goal square. Rochelle won't kick many more simpler goals than that in his career. Is going to be to come next. He goes long right, got rid of Butts. And then flew. Waterman was wrong sided, so he gave it to Durham. Not sure he was actually ready, but Redmond was. And sharply to Frampton charging up from behind. Goes long on the kick. Thatcher did enough, but they're scouting, and Walker's got it headed to goal. <laughs> Desperation there from Ridley, they keep it alive. Wanganeen straddled the line. Hasn't been an influence yet, but a goal could have changed all of that right. <laughs> from nowhere, Peter Wright has taken the mark. Look on Jordan Butts' face, said it all, I think, and uh, we're on a watching brief there. How long will he last? As Shield sends them forward again. Corbwell to the square and beyond! It's not dead yet, though. With 25 seconds to go. Martin got through and out. Corbwell didn't panic. It's going to be an awfully difficult kick for Waterman, but he's a chance. Kicks it before the bell anyway, and he's got it perfectly working back. Just what the Essendon doctor ordered. Put more of a tagging defender on him. Phillips disposed of. Smith straight in on the act. Martin, we know he's capable. Tremendous goal sets. Time and space. Walker this time is on the lead. It wasn't perfect. It allowed him to double back. And a big gap. The handball was apparent to everyone. Himmelberg, one more. Again, it wasn't as precise. But Keyes knows his way through. They've had Murphy up in his own for a long time. They try to go to him now. Yeah, do they? And he's up, good enough to hang on. He's got row forward handball. He's got Rochelle, though. <laughs> it's coming back sweetly. Three goals for Rochelle. Caldwell and Hinge. 
Since there was something on, Walker breaks the shackles from 50. He'll just caress it and stroke it through for his third and give Adelaide the lead back. Shelley under there. Crowd screaming, and it's an Essendon ball. Guelphy fully loaded. Bombers back in front. It was more that open style of play. Hamilton trots back to the goal square of Adelaide. Who happened to win it forward? Will be the target, and here it is. McHenry, Laird goes for Himmelberg and hits him. Has kicked that crisply as well, and they are hanging around. Ridley changed his mind. Martin was on the same wavelength, and now Hine, full frontal ahead. Didn't go for the next little manoeuvre. Instead, he kicked it along to Devon Smith, who gets the instructions and follows them to a tee. Opportunity abounds. Heppel to the wing. Guelph is outnumbered there. There was so much going on. Hard to know whether the whistle should have blown or not. Guelph passed the second time. Smith needed no invitation. Archie Perkins. They know it's there. And the ref just spreads around Marvel Stadium. Back to Laird again. Cook. High ball. Hamilton tries to propel himself. Taylor Walker. Curls through another. Draper takes prime position. Oh, Draper, the Redman! <laughs> you can't catch him! It's Brown that cuts in. And out of defence comes Smith. Dude delivers to half forward, to Laird, to Rochelle. Oh, perfect oh. delivery to Gallant. Now he's going forward. Going for goal. Gallant, his team needs him. And he rises and gets it there. And it's on again. <laughs> Against the clock, there's 15 seconds to go. The highest ball. That won't go to Himmelberg instead. That's Redmond. The Bombers are going to hold on. Marvel Stadium will erupt. A victory for Essendon in season 2022. That took to the very last second, but they've got there.